Time for another update, everybody. Oh, well, I'm not. I'm not centered. There we go. Uh, so anyway, today I'm going to be talking about why I use this instead of this. Now, I did an unboxing of this a while back, about a month ago, I believe, actually. Uh, it, it was the. This is the Wion 420. This is a simple version. Uh, the more complex version has three hotkeys. And speaking of which, I'm going to get right into the explanation. Now, the first thing is the hotkeys. Now, there are four programmable hotkeys right here, 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 and here on the Wacom tablet, uh, which is the Wacom Intuos pen-only small version. Now, uh, I I use this for Osu all the time. Um, and I forgot to make a note of the following. Um, so I, I checked off the hotkeys. Uh, this does not have the hotkeys, so uh, but uh, you can get the hotkeys if you spend an extra ten dollars generally. Uh, so there, there's that. And uh, of course, um, the pro these these two buttons right here are programmable, uh, but you can you can do it whatever you want. I usually have the top button be my left click and the bottom button be my right click. Uh, and I do that on the Wacom as well. I have them both set up the same. And uh, I use this button for OSU. Uh, this is my Windows button. This is my. Uh, this opens the control panel for the tablet. And this is a shift. I really don't have a program for that, but whatever. Uh, moving on to the usage area. Uh, the usage area on this is programmed with. I'm going to call it pixels, but basically it's just like you know how like a. Like, if you've ever seen, um, a, like, a tablet or, or, like, an iPad or, like, that kind of tablet, uh, if you've ever looked at it with the screen completely off, you looked at it from the side and, like, on an angle, and it's, and it's kind of like, you can kind of see, like, a grid behind the screen sometimes if you have it in the correct lighting. Um, that, that, these, ha these tablets work the same way. They have that same kind of grid that, uh, m that determines where the pen is, and, yeah. And uh, basically, what the Wacom what the Wacom tablet does is it measures the usage area. When you can set it yourself, you can set it to be the whole thing. You can set it to be a portion. Uh, and I ha I have it set to a portion. Uh, this is where, boop, that little blue dot. Uh, I I don't know. You probably didn't see that, but whatever. Um, there. Uh, I I set it to exactly there, and I have the I have the. Numbers, uh, the bottom is 3860, 3860, um, and the right hand side is 7157. That's what, that's what the offset is, uh, for the number of pixels. Um, however, uh, the Wion tablet does the same thing, except it measures in, in, in the, with the Imperial system, or with the metric system, I believe. I'm not sure about the metric, but, uh, I don't know. It definitely does the Imperial, because I set it to, uh, two inches by three inches, or something like that. And uh, it and that that's how it measures uh, the usage area there. And uh, there and another thing about the usage area is that because I have a dual monitor setup, uh, my my second monitor, luckily it's uh, 16 by 10 and it's 1440 by 900. Uh, so that's a it's a good it's a good thing because it's smaller, uh, meaning that um, I don't have to use the whole thing, uh, like the whole top row. Uh, just to uh, get to both monitors, I can I can have the the second monitor be smaller. So it, it's a good it's good to have that uh, in my opinion at least. Uh, so and luckily, luckily if you do have a dual monitor setup and you're using a tablet, it sets it up by itself as long as you set the usage area to the first monitor and to set it to set it to the whole monitor. Uh, I'm not sure about if if, it, if you do only part of the monitor, but whatever. Uh, and if um, <clears throat> The second monitor will set itself up, so you don't have to worry about that. Basically, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, the pen. Um, the Wacom pen, I like way better. Uh, it's got a nice weight to it versus uh, the Wacom pen, which is, which is really, really light, and it's kind, it kind of feels flimsy, almost. Um, and also, the buttons on it, these two buttons right here, uh, they are programmable, and uh, they are, but it's just like one button, so it's like a sliding button. You can you can run your finger on it; it'll it'll feel like one button, but um, it is two buttons. Uh, I don't even know how to explain this. Uh, it's kind of it's really hard to explain. Uh, it 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 doesn't really have a clicky feel, basically. Uh, versus the Weon Pen, definitely has a clicky feel. And it it definitely feels like it responds more better, more better, 
Uh, it definitely responds better than the Wacom ta than the Wacom tablet's pen. And uh, another thing about the Weon pen is, luckily, to save battery, you can turn it on and off. So, and because it is powered by a battery, it does it sh really should be turned on and off. I mean, like that's common sense, you know. And uh, then, then, then there's the nibs, the nibs right here. Uh, one thing I, that's this is one thing that I have to give the Wacom the the Wacom pen for credit for uh, is because unfortunately, whoa, oh, well there it goes, it's gone. That is that is exactly what happens when you make it so that your nibs can come off very easily. If if, if it it will just go flying. And you will lose it. <laughs> Goodbye. And uh, versus the Wacom pen, I've never been able to get this thing out, even even with the tool. Like it's impossible. Like you have to use like needle nose pliers or whatever. But whatever. And uh, another thing I like about the Wacom pen is is this little this little blue thing right here. It's a piece of rubber. It's it's little it's a little rubber ring, and you can take it off, and you can swap it out with another one if if you have another one. And they do they do they do give you um if the blue one is already on there, they give you a black one. If the black one is already on there, they give you a blue one. Same thing, whatever. Um, speaking of all blue and black, uh, they they include one of these on part of the tablet. There's nothing like that on the Wii on. There, there's no accessories or whatever. Uh, and, if you, and if you'll see, this black part right here, you'll see that it's in three pieces. That's because this and this is a wireless upgrade. Um, and uh, if you want to up if you want to have a wireless tablet, like let's say uh, your your computer is hooked up to your TV and you're sitting on the couch and you're and you're drawing, you want you don't want to have to have a wire running all the way across your living room floor. You want to have it wireless most of the time, right? You know. So it's good that they have the option to have a wireless upgrade, and it is via um, USB wireless connection, uh, Bluetooth, I believe, maybe I don't know. And uh, speaking, and another, uh, still on the point of uh, wires, is that the wire that this comes with, it kind of per it goes from the top. The Wacom tablet has the uh, the plug. Uh, it's micro USB versus the Weon, which is just plain old, the bigger mini USB or whatever. Uh, and also, um, they don't, they give you a nice, uh, angled, uh, they give you a nice angled cord with the Wacom. So it's, uh, it's a bit more, um, less obtrusive, I guess. <laughs> obtrusive? I don't know. Uh, so, uh, it, it kind of keeps it out of the way a little bit better. Uh, versus, like, for example, if you have a setup like me, I'm not going to move the camera, actually. Uh, if you have a setup like me where you have a keyboard right here, and then you have the tablet right here, if the wire is going towards the keyboard, then you're going to have to move the tablet. Or, or you're going to have to move the keyboard, because you're just going to... Everything is going to get confuddled all together, and you're just going to have a big old tangled mess. Okay, maybe not that extreme, but you get the idea. Uh, and I believe that is... All that I have to talk about. Um, oh, also, uh, this has two lights and this has one light. But this one, this one has different color. This one has one light that flashes different colors. Uh, this one has a white light and a blue light. This one shows that the pen that the pen is in range of the tablet, and this one shows that it's connected. So I believe that's all I have to talk about about these two tablets. And uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and that, because this tablet is designed for drawing and not just a signature, uh, yeah. Spe speaking of which, this is this is not technically called a drawing tablet. This is called a signature board. That's why it's so small. Um, yeah, but but uh, it is it is the Osu tablet. So uh, they do recommend it for Osu. Uh, I mean, like it is the same exact thing that the actual Osu tablet is. So <laughs> you get to cheat at life if you just get the the black one. But you know, <coughs> ew, that 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 was very difficult on my throat. Um, but you get the idea. Um, because the Wacom tablet is designed for drawing and not just a signature, it has this part right here. It's kind of rounded, and that it's all it's also tapered. If you'll notice, uh, it's thicker in the back than it is in the front. So you'll see it, uh, it kind of thins out as it goes around as it goes around this way, and this is rounded. So it's it's a it's a little good hand rest if you want to have like, you know, if you want to have your hand on it, then uh, if you're drawing for an extended period of time, it's much more comfortable. 
the, the, versus the very boxy feel of this, which has no hand rest whatsoever. So, uh, anyway, I believe that's all I have to talk about. <laughs> that's the third time I've said that, but, uh, anyway, if you've made it through this, this far into the video, then kudos to you. And, uh, I hope you all have a good day. Feel free to rate, comment, subscribe, uh, share if you want, favorite, do whatever you want. Any feedback is much appreciated. Thank you. Have a good day, everybody. Also, uh, actually, I already said that. Never mind. Bye.